Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Loud Pops Tarot. I'm bringing you a quick read today. This is the person on your mind. We're going to get their thoughts and feelings, um, their worries, their hopes, their actions, um, the blockages in the situation and the outcome between the two of you. And um, I was called to kind of pull some decks. I don't know, soulmates and separation was one of them. So I guess if this ends up being like a, a separation read, um, I'll pull from there, but I also have heart to heart messages and then the souls, the soul reflections, love Oracle deck guys. So, all right, let's get the person on your mind. So this is a general read guys. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, if you feel like you want a personal, you can check out my, ooh, you can check out my um, webpage and get information on a personal read. Well, your person definitely is thinking a lot of very passionate, passionate thoughts about you. Oh, oh, but they are at a crossroad and they have, there's some devil energy and some moo. You guys, you guys, I do think this is a separation read. Um, so I will be pulling cards for soulmates and separation, unspoken love messages. Um, your person definitely has so much passion for you. They see you as fiery, flirty, sexy, energetic, fun to be around. This person is definitely attracted to you. Definitely feels a pull to you. I do feel like there's the past connection here. Um, I do feel like there's a past connection here. Or this person knows you um, and this feels very conflicted, but this person cannot stop thinking about you. You are on their mind. The devil energy is here. This is like um, obsessive compulsive thinking, um, being stuck in this world of either recalling passionate memories together or um, just thinking about being intimate with you. I feel like this person is very, very much consumed by thoughts of you. Um, and they feel like you're beautiful, that you're sexy, you're flirty, you're passionate. But guys, something's going on here. So we have the Two of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Moon card. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords. Oh my gosh, and underneath that, we have the Nine of Swords. So you guys, they are definitely stuck up in their heads about you. Um, I'm going to leave this. Uh, in the, the shuffle deck um, but I feel like they are stressed out I feel like they feel blinded or stuck they're not sure what to do my intuition's telling me they've done something to kind of screw up the situation or they're really stressed about what to do to move forward in the situation um, I feel like they have a lot of regrets I do think some secrets came became exposed um, things that were done in the dark came to light and now there's um, a revelation or a revealing, um, or they want to reveal their thoughts to you. So either something they did makes them feel regretful, which is the vibe I'm getting, um, or they want to reveal something to you. But this person is stuck. It's almost like they, they're not sure what to do. Um, I feel so much regret. I feel like they're in deep regret about the situation. And I really think something came to light um, that was not... That was not something they wanted to come to light. <laughs> All right, so let's see. What are they worried about? What are they worried about in this connection? What's your person worried about? We have the Queen of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups. <laughs> These make me laugh sometimes, guys. Okay, so your person is worried that you are getting clarity on the situation that you are cutting out what no longer serves you, that you're finding this almost like coldness about you in terms of this relationship and that you're moving on to your son. Um, this card, Eight of Cups in Tarot, is walking away from a situation. In the regular tarot, it is um, walking, a man walking to the moon. And this one is walking to the sun. So I feel like they're afraid you're walking on to somebody better. Um, I feel like they know that they really wronged you. Um, and they feel like you're going to be like in your head. You're going to do this critical analysis. You're going to figure out, uh, I don't need this person. They kind of screwed me over. And you're going to be walking towards your son. And they're worried that you are going to be kind of cold and distant. Um, they're worried that you're kind of no longer able to be juggled. Um, you are getting yourself stable. You're getting yourself grounded. They're worried that you're focused on yourself. Um, that you are not offering your cups of love to anybody but yourself <laughs> and that you're really working on um, growing and moving forward. 
So I feel like with the Seven of Cups followed by the Eight of Cups, the Nine, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, I feel like you're you're moving on, you're growing in, in true fruition, you're coming into what serves you, you're cutting out what no longer serves you, right? And you're no longer imbalanced. That's what they're worried about. I kind of feel like they wanted you to stay imbalanced. What are they hoping for in this situation? The Queen of Cups. They're worried you're going to be the Queen of Swords, but they want the Queen of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles. The Hermit. The Queen of, or I'm sorry, the Three of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like they're really hoping that you're going to be open to love, loving them. I feel like they're really hoping that you're going to be this nurturer, this caretaker, this provider, and you're going to kind of switch back from what they think you're doing, pardon me, what they think you're doing is this Queen of Swords becoming detached, becoming cold to this nurturing energy that you are. This is what they think of you. They do, I think they have love for you, but they see you as very loving, very nurturing, very caring, very compassionate, and they're hoping you'll come back to this. Um, I think they're hoping that you're like, um, getting stability in your life. I think they hoping that you're focused on your work and not another love connection. Um, I think they're kind of hoping that you're pulled yourself into the hermit mode and you're not putting yourself out there. <laughs> um, and you're just kind of healing um, and waiting for them to come back. And you're going to be patient and you're going to be um, slow and you're going to be steady and you're going to be committed. I feel like, and you're not going to move quickly. So this is what I think they're hoping. I think they're hoping that you still have love for them, that you're just really going to be focused on your pentacles, focused on your healing, waiting for your ships to come in or waiting for them to return. And then that you're willing to just do this slow and steady committed pace. We'll see. All right, let's go to the blockages next. What are their blockages? What is the blockage in this situation? I'm going to pull three cards for the blockage. The Justice card. The Six of Wands. And the Knight of Wands. Okay, so the blockage is things were things are not balanced uh, between the two of you. I feel like someone was kind of trying to be victorious, be out perhaps like in the public eye, um, being well known, being well received, having lots of fans. Um, I feel like this is the blockage is someone was like seeking that. Mm. Not like a fame, not like fame, fame and fortune, but just seeking lots of attention from multiple sources. Um, I feel like the blockage is things aren't balanced out. Um, there could potentially be someone going through an ending of a relationship, um, which that relationship would be a blockage to this relationship. Um, and then someone was a player. The Knight of Wands shows this player energy. I feel like this is your person. I feel like your person might be ending a situation or getting like the justice card sometimes to me is a divorce card. So I feel like maybe your person's going through a divorce um, or maybe the fact that they're not divorced or with someone is part of the blockage. I feel like they were out seeking lots of attention and that um, they are a player. This Knight of Wands energy is fiery, flirty, sexy, fun to be around, but this is a very non-committal kind of energy. <laughs> okay, let's get the actions. What actions is your person going to take towards you? What actions is your person going to take towards you? What actions is your person going to take towards you? Oh, Lord. And I said Lord with the T. <laughs> the Four of Wands. Um, the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Swords. Four, 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 guys. The Seven of Cups. And the King of Pentacles and the High Priestess on the bottom of the deck. So what actions are they going to take? I, I feel like, guys, they are waiting. They know that you're in the healing stages. They know that you have been hurt. They know that you uh, put your heart off there and someone kind of, some of them, took advantage of the situation. Um, they know you're kind of closed off, right? Um, so in terms of their actions toward you, I kind of feel like, 
they are recognizing these these kinds of tendencies with you, but they're going to come forward and kind of be talking and reflecting and stating like, I feel like we're twin flames. I feel like you're home to me. I feel like um, you're the person I'm meant to be with. I feel like you and I are supposed to go th through these trials and tribulations, but I keep coming back to you. I know that you are closed off. I know that you are healing. I am no longer confused. I know what I want. You are my wish fulfillment. And I want to be your king of pentacles. I want to be stable for you. I want to be a provider for you. I want to be committed and loyal. I want to work on my finances to be strong. And um, I want my finances to be strong and stable to provide this life for you. I want to be a caretaker. So they're going to come towards you in this king of pentacles energy. They're going to be showing up very strong, very stable, very loyal, very committed. They're going to be telling you that you are their wish fulfillment. I feel like they're going to validate and um, state like, yes, I know I've caused some things to make you be, be guarded and hurt. Um, but you can heal past that because I feel like we can heal past that together because you're my twin flame. You feel like home to me. You're the person that makes sense to me. All right, let's get the outcome between the two of you. What's the outcome going to be between the two of you? The outcome between you and the person on your mind. The Page of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles. The Empress. The Six of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. And the star card, guys. Okay, so I feel like um, the outcome is going to be good. Um, I feel like you guys potentially are going to be together. Uh, if you choose, you have free will. But I feel like they are understanding that it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of convincing and a lot of slow-paced movement and... Um, I feel like they're going to have to put in the hard work. So the outcome, guys, is things are shifting. Things are going to be working in your favor. Karma is working its magic, right? Karma is kind of being put back out there. And uh, I think your person is kind of getting what they've put out into the universe. Um, I feel like things will be shifting in your favor of what you want, though, very soon. Um, we have the three of pentacles. Your person is wanting to be a teammate with you. And the outcome, you guys are going to be able to be teammates. You're going to be able to work together. You're going to be able to build together. You're going to be able to grow together. Um, a very good support between the two of you. Very stable. Um, it's going to be an equal give and take. And they know that they have to show you an equal give and take. And I think, honestly, they're going to have to give a whole heck of a lot more in the beginning. Because you're going to be very untrustworthy of them or feel very untrusting of them. That's the right word. And it's going to be a very slow and steady pace. The Page of Pentacles is like a good news or message, um, but it's a very slow and steady committed pace. So this person is going to be like putting in the work, 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 work to get you to understand that they want commitment with you. They want loyalty with you. They want that King of Pentacles energy. They want to provide for you. They want to show you how much they want to care for you. But this is a very slow and steady process. This is not anything that's moving fast. And I think that they're going to be fine with that because they know that you are their empress. They know that you are caring, committed, loyal, nurturing, loving. This is a divinely guided connection, guys. This is a wish fulfillment. Um, they see you as their wish fulfillment. You see them as your wish fulfillment, maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> but I do see that this uh, situation can work. Um, you showing up as the divine empress, or the divine feminine, the empress, and a wish fulfillment, um, clearly they are going to be putting in a lot of work and commitment and time to make this move forward. So you guys, I'm going to pull a couple of the Soul Reflections Love Oracle cards just to get a couple more messages about you and your person. Differences, not on the same page. Relationship abuse, toxic relationship. Fun times. Yep. The gate is open. Take a leap of faith and walk through. Open for love. Money issues preventing me from asking you out. So I definitely feel like there have been 
relationship issues in this situation. And this, you know, this says relationship abuse, toxic relationships. If this is a toxic situation, I am not recommending by any means that you allow this person to come back into your life. Um, you have to decide what it is for you. There could have been money issues preventing them from asking you out. And there could have been just differences and not being on the same page. Like perhaps one person wanted something committed. The other person didn't. Um, one person wanted children. The other one didn't. Um, it could be one person was playing the field. The other one wasn't. I mean, there could be so many differences. It could be different cultures, different religions, different um, ethnicities. There could be lots of differences that were impacting this relationship. Um, yeah, but this one kind of makes me like, if, if your person was toxic, I am not recommending you go back into a toxic situation, um, at all. But, uh, if you feel like this person had some problems and has really changed, I mean, that's your choice, but, um, that's, that's a tough call right there with that card. Um, I do feel like you guys, um, will have and have had fun times together. I think that the door is open and you are open for love. And it says, uh, take a leap of faith and walk through. So perhaps maybe the other person had some toxic ways. Um, uh, maybe they were really immature. Maybe they were, I don't like, I don't like that one Re relationship abuse, um, and toxic relationship. Uh, but maybe they were really immature. Maybe the fact that they lost you and saw they caused you harm triggered them to do the healing. Maybe they've completed the dark night of the soul kind of energy. Karma's kind of come back around and now they're they're mature and they're ready. Maybe before they weren't ready. Um, but if you, but like I said, if it's a toxic situation and it's still that way, then get the heck out. <laughs> okay. So their messages from the heart to heart messages from Crystal Moon Oracle say, I see things that remind me of you everywhere I go. I can't fight this feeling anymore. <laughs> um, I wonder if I'm on your mind as much as you're on mine. You are the most beautiful thing I keep in my heart. And then I'm not ignoring you. I just need to focus on myself right now. And then under that is I want to talk to you, but I don't know what to say. And I feel like that's kind of where they're stuck, right? Because they really know that they're the reason why this is screwed up and this is not working anymore. Wow, that's a lot right there. I'm, I guess I'll take all these cards. All right, so these are Soulmates and Separation Unspoken Love Messages by the Serendipity Tarot. We have, my heart was blocked. I was not available to receive your love when you gave it. I kept the wrong company around who interfered with this beautiful connection. Sorry, I did not see your value and worth when we were together. I was dishonest with you and myself. I lived one big lie. Mm, this is a heavy read, guys. Um, I hope you will find forgiveness in your heart for me. So, guys, like the outcome shows it could be a very positive outcome, but it's just going to take a lot of time to build, to grow, um, a lot of compassion, empathy on your part. Um, a lot of nurturing and care on their part, a lot of pause, uh, give and take that's uh, balanced, a lot of time and patience. Um, but it's totally up to you what you guys want to do. Please uh, comment, share, like, and subscribe, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care. Thanks. Bye.